Uh, the next surgical procedure we'll be talking about is what is known as hepatical jejunostomy. Now, hepatical jejunostomy, you can basically will decipher a lot of names from here. But um, what I want you guys to know is the, in hepatical jejunostomy, you are joining the bile duct and the jejunum. All right. So I came across hepatical jejunostomy when I was reading about Whipple's procedure. But hepatical jejunostomy can be done alone or is mostly done in Whipple's procedure, though. So look at here. This is where you're having the common bile ducts. All right. So they now cut the duodenum out, and the, the, the part of the intestine, the small intestine that is available, is actually the jejunum. So you're now trying to what, link the bile duct to the jejunum. That's what is known as what hepatical jejunostomy. All right. So talk about it. Talk about the indications, the surgical techniques. Then the procedure that has the steps. Then the preoperative preparation, postoperative uh, care, and the complication. Right. So looking at the definition. While saying the hepatical jejunostomy is a surgical procedure that creates a connection between the hepatic duct, that's the bowel, also known as the bowel duct, okay, and the jejunum, which is a part of the small intestine, all right? So, indications now, that's when you should do this type of surgery. If there's bowel duct obstructions from tumors, stones, or strictures, if there's bowel duct injury, which could be trauma or surgery, if there's pancreatic cancer, if there's cholangio carcinoma, that's bowel duct cancer. If there's primary sclerosing cholangitis. If there's biliary what atresia. Okay, so any one of these conditions can actually what um, make you want to do this type of what um, surgery. Okay, so what are the surgical techniques? You have the rule and why hepatic jejunostomy. Right, this is the most common method. Now, the rule and why I actually have it here. Okay, I don't have it. All right, just know that it's a type though. Okay, rule and why jejunostomy. Then we have the colledeco jejunostomy. This one is a direct connection between the bowel duct and the jejunum. Okay, direct connection between the bowel duct and the jejunum. Now, which is the next one? Hepatico do the nest to me this one I'm about there is a connection between the bowel ducts and the duodenum right so you can be doing a jejunostomy or a duodenum yeah you can be joining the bowel duct to the jejunum or you can be joining the bowel ducts to the part of duodenum that means you didn't resect duodenum all you get so what are the procedures of course abdominal incision exposure of the word bowel ducts and jejunum you now create an astomosis, which is basically a connection between the bowel duct and the jejunum. Or you can do an, a rooks and Y reconstruction if necessary, right? The closure of the abdomen after you're done. So preoperative, that's what are the cares that you give to the patient before operation. Just make sure that you do imaging studies to confirm that, to confirm the condition you are dealing with, right? The endoscopic ultrasound, biopsy, blood test, biliary drainage, all of that. The post-operative, that's after operation, it put the patient in an intensive care unit, pain management, antibiotics management, bowel drainage and management, and follow-up imaging studies to see that if it's a tumor, the tumor is not coming back, right? Complications, this can lead to bowel leakage, lead to infections, lead to hemorrhage, lead to what? Anastomotic what? Strictures, lead to malabsorption and liver failure, right? So guys, that's it for this. Also, it is a hepatic jejunostomy, which is a surgery that you are trying to what? Link, let's see another image. Okay, you are trying to link the bowel duct to the jejunum. Okay, trying to link the bowel duct to the jejunum. Linking the bowel duct. Okay, and this is Rook's link. So this is a Rook's NY method. Okay, so you are linking the bowel duct to the jejunum. All right, so that's it for this and see you guys.